That's good, man. There's nothing like a 63 or 64 poly. I feel cool just sitting there. How do I look? Awesome ride position cool. these things. Just kidding. Morning. <laughs> Reason we're here so early today is to try to beat Dallas traffic. But we are heading to Houston and we're going to pull off three things. The first stop we're going to is Horizon Shipping, which you've been there before. It's where we drop the cars off to go to the port. Yeah. That are going to Europe. Uh, we've done business with Horizon for going on almost 40 years. So we're bringing the black 356 race car there because we're sending it to Europe to have it restored because why? Because the last couple we did took forever, didn't they? Yeah. So that's going to go to Europe, and maybe you guys will see it in a year or two. <laughs> and then after that, we're finally going to Houston Machine that has the 428 for the red Shelby you're building. That was Billy Max car along with you. Oh, sweet. Motor's ready. That's the machine shop he used that he chose that he liked for his race motors and what have you. And that's supposed to be the original motor for that car. So as you know, the motor that was in it that we have down there is a 427 side over. Yeah. And then from there, we're going to go rescue a 63 Impala Sport Coupe which I don't think that you and I have bought a Sport Coupe Impala together. No, nope, not convertibles. That I can think of. We have bought convertibles. I don't know why we haven't got the Sport Coupes. Now, I'm looking at the pictures. It does not look like it's an SS, but Sport Coupes are still really desirable. Yeah. And most of the rescues we've done lately, the car's been sent for 40 plus years. This one's only been sent for 20, so hopefully it'll be easy. Sweet. So grab your cup of Joe and let's go. We're now in Houston, it's 10 in the morning at Horizon Auto Shipping. It's always fun to come down here every couple years to see what's getting shipped out and see what the rest of the world's buying. So this is all export stuff. So let's see the rough stuff against the wall. I see a truck. <laughs> see a couple of Austin Heelys. One, two, three really rough Heelys. Yeah. So hopefully we can get to see what's in their warehouse. Let's go check it out. And we're shipping the 356 to the UK to be restored. And there's the race motor and all the original parts for it are in that crate. Always lots of motorcycles being shipped out. See some Mustangs. Yes, sir. How are you, sir? Good. It's been a while. Yeah, how are you? Good, good to see you. Been. Good, good. Good, good, good. This is Zach on the camera. This is Alex. Hey guys. Hey, We're dropping a uh, 356 off for you to ship out. Going to the UK, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, I yeah, it's been a while. Okay. okay. So just give you the paperwork? Sure. I went inside to see if Marty was out. I saw Glory in there. Marty is maybe at home, maybe right now. All right, well, when you see her, tell her I said hi. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so, bill sale, title, reassignment. Good deal. Okay, we've also got a large crate of parts that goes with it. Okay. These four clips, yeah. Okay. And then I got a favor. Yes, sir. I was supposed to take a picture of parts that are in it, and I didn't. So I need you to just take the lid off so I can just take a picture real quick for the lid back on. Okay, do right now. Can we handle that? Yeah. All right, cool. Okay. Uh, can you, will the 356 drive in here? Yeah. All right, well, where, you want it to come up this ramp? Oh, yeah, the back. That ramp there? Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Okay. We'll get that in. If you can send the forklift out, it's on the back of that white ramp. Okay, All good right. deal. All right. So as we know, Mustangs are always one of the top selling things worldwide. There's one, two, there's two. TJ Wrangler going out. 72 Mopar, light ops. There's another Porsche. There's a Porsche. Porsches are always going out. It looks like, you know, normally when we ship stuff out, we always ship the VW split windows. Look at all these late model. Yeah. Guess we gotta start buying those, huh? Yeah. This is insider information here. There's a split window bus. Yep. Lots of trucks. Look at that. So it looks like trucks is number one and Volkswagen is the number two. Pantera. Is there a Pantera? You can't see that one. 
looking good. Ah, Alex, I can't even see that. It's so dark yeah. in here. <laughs> the overwhelming this trucks of all makes and models. Uh, that'd be great. Mustang, we had a, um, a yeah, Chevelle. Maybe I got here. Not doing on a car, but now they're gone. Yeah. Where are they? Where are they mainly going? We ship it to the UK, Sweden, uh, the Netherlands, Germany. France, okay. Italy, a little bit too. Normal uh, stuff, but UK is number one still. UK, Sweden, Germany, Netherlands, all those countries, pretty much. They all take turns. Okay. So it's still <laughs> yeah. yeah. Also, also, it's uh, to give, give all Ali too, like Dubai. Really? Yeah. Okay. We got, we got it. Well, it looks like the number one thing you've got here on the lot are trucks, and number two are Volkswagen buses. The buses never end. <laughs> never end. <laughs> never right? end. Uh, yeah. So we've always we always buy the split one. It was like the early one there, but we haven't been buying these late model ones. There's a bunch of late model ones in here. Yeah, just Let's walk down and see what else we can see. Oh, there's a bag. You see a nice uh, So how's the volume right now compared to two years ago? Is it still good? It kind of tore down a bit. Maybe are you in the summer? Okay. Uh, before that, we're big, I mean, we have two lines here, one over here, oh. and it was full. But now full. it's like with the economy, with the inflation, with the war, people are not buying as much like they used to because they put the, you know, the war with Ukraine and Russia. So. Well, it's busy here as far as sales. Mm -hmm. So what does it cost approximately to ship a car to the UK right now? Like a, uh, if it's consolidated in a container? About a thousand bucks, something like that. A thousand bucks? Mm -hmm. Cheap enough. Before yeah. it was like a little bit cheaper, but now people want, you know, Keep, keep, keep. Will it cost more to get one from California to here or from New York to here than it does to get from here to the UK? Inla uh, inland freight's more money. Yeah, from California, it's, it's a nightmare. LA, the port over there, it's, it's a congestion. As, you know, I, right. I hear bad stuff about, about that. So either the East Coast or, or Houston is good to ship out of. You know. oh, I agree. We usually ship out of here. Savannah's not bad. Savannah, uh, Charleston, or New York. Yep, yep, yep. It's not bad. Yeah. Try a stag. It's cool. You don't see those very often. It's got a rover motor in it. You never seen one of these? Another Volkswagen bus, two more trucks. Pantera over there that Alex spotted, a black Pantera going out. Yeah. Cadillac yeah. convertible. Volkswagen. <laughs> They're just everywhere. Bel Air and Impalas too, going, going to Sweden. That's and good. We're actually down here today in Houston buying a 63 Impala. Oh yeah? Over there, the nice little uh, plastic. It seems like a lot of Cadillacs go to Sweden, don't they? Bel Airs, Cadillacs, Oldsmobiles, Buicks, Lincoln. They like the big GM stuff. They like big stuff. Mm -hmm. And now, like, so like in France, truck, truck. they want these vans down, the, the D20s, things like that. Like for really? camping. Okay. So you got one there, we have one over here, you know, we have, we have several. You know, like, we loaded on so, conversion vans, we first caught on to that when we were up buying the KR Shelby convertible. Mm -hmm. And that guy had that one for sale. He said he put it out there and sold for like, 10 grand more than he was asking yeah. for, some crazy number. We are not going to be buying conversion vans because we don't have room for them. <laughs> All right, let's get the Porsche off. Javier, it's great. It's good okay, to see yeah, you, yeah. sir. Me, All right, we'll get the stuff in. You got it. Help us with the port with it. Yeah. To ship this car from the port of Houston to the port of the UK is about a thousand bucks. It's actually cheaper than shipping this car halfway across the US. Inland transport can cost more now than shipping a car all the way to Europe. Doesn't make sense, does it? But that's the reality. It makes more sense to ship this car right now to Europe and have it restored than it does here. It's actually more expensive to have that car restored here in the U.S. than it is in Europe. So, hopefully we'll see that in another year or two. Now, we're going to go pick up the 428 Cobra Jet motor for the 67 Shelby that we bought from Billy Mack. Actually, Patrick Arnold used to be Billy Mack with his dad. Yeah. So, here we go to Houston Machines. So now we're at Houston Engine and Balancing Services, where the motor's being built, which is actually in Pasadena, Texas. So let's go get the Shelby 428 motor for the 67 car out of Longview. Hmm. <laughs> Things that make you go, hmm. And it's locked. No, I'm good. <laughs> Might be the door on the other side. Well, let's try that before we go around back. Good, sir. We are here to pick up an engine.
Can we film in here? We're doing a follow-up. We bought the Shelby, and right. we're following up code to pick up the motor and put the motor in the Shelby. Yeah. Is that cool? All right, great. It's just a little. No, it looks. We love it. Looks like you guys are plenty busy. Same with you. All right. So where did we end up as far as the bore on it? Basically, it's 15 over. 15 over. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's 4145. All right. So and what did what'd you use for pistons? It's called the brand called Race Tech. Okay. It's a forged piston. Okay. So stock rods with ARP rod bolts. Okay. Crank was ground 1010 because it had to. Okay. So, and then uh, it's got the good performance cam bearings. All right. Okay. So, every oil galley is tapped. Okay. No press and plugs. Okay. Any other questions you got, Alex? No. Got okay. Uh, how do we get it to our truck? I got a crane. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That'll work. So All right. The crane only goes in and out. Oh, they cleaned up. Okay. They, this morning they had a bunch of cars. Y'all gonna so, put it on the trailer or back of the truck? I would rather put it on the truck so it ride better, won't it? Yeah. yeah. So you want to sort of drop the trailer and pull the truck back here? How far does the crane go? Just to right there? Just to the door. Okay. Or I can use the forklift since I got it back from the final shop. That'd be great. If we could forklift it on the bed of the truck, I'll just pull back here. Just crane it to here and then forklift it on the back of the truck. Well, that's the case, then just drive the thing up front. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, from there. That or uh, drop the trailer and, and then put it, just back it up. It's up to you. We'll do that. We'll just drop the trailer. Okay. Back well, the truck. We'll have it back okay. here in a second. So we just rescued the original motor for the 67 GT500, which is a big deal. Yes, so it's now a numbers matching car. Now all you gotta do is put it together and get it running. Yep, we're yeah. running in a couple weeks. All right, now we're on our way to rescue a 63 Apollo Sport Coupe. Here we go. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we're probably gonna be there in about 20 minutes. Okay, sounds good. And I've got Zach and Alex with me. Is it okay we film picking up the car? Yeah, sure, that's fine. All right, sir, we'll see you shortly. All righty. Thank you, bye. Wilson, good morning, Hi, sir. Good morning, how are you? Hi, Dennis Collins. Wilson, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you in person. Hi. Alex Bowling. Nice to meet you. Hi, Zach on the camera. How are you doing? Good. All right. Excuse you got a Barry me. Jackson shirt on. Look yeah. at that. Yeah, excuse me for not having my shirt. I got one. You got a coffee work shirt? I got a coffee work shirt. I looked all night for it and I could not find it. Outstanding. Now, I guarantee you, as soon as you leave tomorrow, I'll find you it. You find it? All right. <laughs> I guarantee you. Go see the Apollo. All right. Okay. Pardon the mess, but... That is not a mess compared to what we're used to, sir. Really? Well, you can walk around it. True, true, true. I'm going to paperwork there for you. Right, so we've got a uh, a base two-door hardtop. Is it 283? It is. You got the tile. Look at that. When did you guys leave this morning? Uh, six o'clock. Really? Yes, sir. Wow. Yeah, we missed a pretty good time. That's pretty good. So that's a, the right VIN, Alex, because you got the three for 63, 1847, which is going to be two-door sport coupe, mm -hmm. which is what we got. We'll just see if the tag matches that. 308, 373. Original owner's manual? Wow. I actually have the dealer book for 63 Chevrolet where you'd walk in and sit down uh, with your dealer really? and pick out the colors you want. Really? All the makes, the models, interior colors, all that stuff is really cool. It's a big, huge book that you wow. open up and you can go through everything. Wow. But this is neat. Look at this title 
in his uncle's name. Cool. And then the 65 to 70 registration receipts, that's really neat. So Texas car its whole life. Yep. Oh, wow. And so you're the second you're the second family owner. We are. This would be a one family owned car. Yep. It's for 73. You wanna keep that? Yeah, I'll hang on to that one. Oh, look at that. Cool. <clears throat> I don't know that I have one of those. I've even seen one of those. Here's, this is for your 73. 73. And Mike Persia Chevrolet. That is really amazing. Warranty cards in here. Wow. Did this you? is my dad, by the way. Oh, hey, hi, man. sir. How are you? I'm fine. How are you all doing? Great, great. Good. We're excited to see this car. <laughs> Good. Did you check the tag? I couldn't get it there. Oh, you couldn't get it? Okay. You can set, I don't know if you can set a step over the arc. It's inside of here. You can check it out. Yeah. This is This is actually another thing. It's 73. Yeah. The exact car that most of these guys now want. They want to put the huge wheels on them and all that stuff. Open the hood, Alex. I saw you bought another '63 earlier. Yeah, we got a convertible. It's kind of, it's a little rough. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm assuming that power glide over there is for this car. Yeah. It's, yeah, and this is the drive shaft for it, also. All right. What's that in your hand? Flashlight! <laughs> you believe that? Uh, let's look at the trim tag. I bought it inside the garage. People mm -hmm. could watch it. And you want to sell a car? No. To keep them from stealing it, I took the transmission out. Oh, wow. And put it right this end up. That way they can't just come in here and do it and be gone. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. It's red inside the trunk, isn't it? It is. So that's the original color of the car. The, the red? The red. Because I actually never looked at the owner's manual until I contacted you and when I started going through the paperwork and seeing everything. <coughs> that's when everything started to come together. 63, 1847, It's low, isn't it? <laughs> uh, we grab the keys that bag over the trunk, please. This is what I was actually hoping, Wilson. What's that? That deck is not original to this car. It's not. It's not. Okay. So if you look up, look up here, Alex. See paint code nine hundred. Yes. That's black. Code eight seventy four is red. But that's for the interior. Okay. So it's a black red car, not a red red car. Oh, okay, got you. So the only thing that's been changed that I can see is the deck lid. Wow. Yeah. Sir, I like it. How about I pay what we discussed on the phone? Sounds like a deal. All right. Sounds like a deal. Now we've got to get up in there on the trailer. Yep. So we don't have our big trailer, so we won't have a big floor jack. This is our emergency stuff right here, just in case you need it. We just so happen to need a floor jack for that car. It's not the greatest one on the planet, but it'll do. Boom.
there was a tire was blown off the bead, put the jacket underneath it and getting the pressure off of it, Alex was able to seal the bead and got some air in the tire. So you hear the term up on blocks all the time. This is literally up on a cinder block. It's been on this block for 20 years. That's one of the reasons the flat back tires are so flat because they had all that weight going towards the back. Yeah. So now the question is, will our jack go up this high? I don't know. We might need some more wood. I'm going to get my flashlight out. <laughs> what am I doing here? The block's in a really weird spot. It's right where you can't get on it. So I know you guys are thinking out there, if Alex had been under here, this car had already been up in the air, and you're probably right. So we'll give us about two more minutes of Dennis attempting this, and then we'll get out of the way. It's like in the old days. Open the flashlight for my dad. <laughs> Dad joke one. Boom! Now, would you give Nothing's me easy. It's a good thing it's only like 89 degrees today, not 105. So the plan is, instead of trying to get the trailer to that and pull it on the trailer, we're going to hopefully push it back. Then we can winch it straight on the trailer. Let her rip! Okay. <laughs> I don't have any brakes, so it's a good thing I'm a good driver. <laughs> that was a little overkill. What do you say we back the truck up to it? Well, I could do some exercise today. Oh, okay. That's good, man. There's nothing like a 63 or 64 Apollo. I feel cool just sitting there. How do I look? Awesome ride Pretty position, cool. these things. Just kidding. All right, Joe, that's probably good. God, I love that. So this is a power glide car, obviously. Yep. Two-speed power glide. Original radio still in it. Original gauges, none of this stuff's been hacked or cut up. Bucket seat's nice. Last time we rode in this car, my nephew was like four years old. Wow. Now he's in the foot. So I got one last question for you. Your favorite local place to eat? Baytown Seafood. Baytown Seafood. Yes. Okay. Yeah, right off the Beltway. Uh, as soon as you come out of here, go all the way down Wallaceville until you okay. get to the Beltway, make a right, and it's right there. I also want to thank you for being such a great caretaker of your family's car. Oh, my pleasure. A one family owned 63 Sport Coupe. Yep. Black Red Tier. Really cool. Well, that's where we're going to go. Okay. Baytown Seafood. If you want to join us, meet us there. Yeah. Sure. I'll buy you lunch. Okay. Sounds like a plan. All right. Deal. We'll see All you right. there. All right. Now heading to Baytown Seafood. What do you think, Alex? I think it's going to be good. I bet it's going to be outstanding. I don't think we've done seafood on Coffee Walk, have we? No, we haven't. Uh, actually, we did one place called Rock Salt up in Maine or something. I don't remember where we were. Anyways, we had not done a whole lot of seafood. I bet it's going to be good. It's like one time truck. Woo, that'd have been a flap. Uh, I think we're ready for appetizers for sure. We'll do the boudin balls and the suffled jalapenos. Oh, uh, is that what they are? <laughs> I didn't know if they were souffléed jalapenos or suffled or stuffed. No, stuffed. stuffed. <laughs> okay. 
It's just a new way to spell it. That's pretty cool. Or did anyone spell it? Yeah, they did. So, it's got to be something we hadn't tried before, that's for sure. And uh, by the sign out front, it looks like your gumbo is pretty good, huh? I will do the chicken gumbo medium for yeah for appetizer. Wilson, you know what you want, sir? I'll have uh, three egg rolls for the appetizer. Lock on. All right, moved in balls. Oh, those are jalapenos. All right. Yeah. <laughs> those are the suffled jalapenos. Okay. You good for jalapeno today, Alex? No, oh, thank you. No. Uh huh. Wilson, how about you, sir? A suffled jalapeno. Suff have you ever had a suffled jalapeno? I'm scared I might suffer if I eat one. <laughs> I give it a shot after a try. They look more souffle than suffle to me. There we go. Okay. Sure. If you're ready. Wilson, you go ahead, sir. One chicken fried steak. Chicken fried steak? Your two sides. Um, Is that on the back of the menu in the middle? I'm going to have um, french fries and hash peppers. Oh, I love hash puppies. I'm going to do the uh, combination seafood plate, the big one, the one with two fish, five shrimps, and five oysters. And those are all fried, right? Yes. <laughs> Standing. Uh, we'll do hush puppies. Gotta have that. Probably need to order something healthy. Yeah. <laughs> fried okra. I'd say that's healthy. <laughs> no, there's a piece of lattice right there. <laughs> I'll get the uh, fried catfish. So which one? The fried whole catfish? Um, the catfish fillets? Uh, I'll do the catfish fillets. How many? Three piece. Alright, and then your two sides? Uh, hush puppies and fish fries. Okay. I have a little rice in it. We got Tabasco on its way. While we're waiting on Tabasco, we're going to try the boot in ball. Look at that. Looks like a meal in itself. Wow. It's really good. It's a lot of work. That's hot. <laughs> you like one of these, sir? Yeah, yes. All right, outstanding. Josh, you gonna try a boot in ball? Mm -hmm. What? Yeah. He ordered catfish. I'm proud of you. I eat fish. You go. I was a betting man. I would have thought you would order chicken fried steak today, sir. Mm -hmm. Really hot. Try the jalapeno. Yeah, it's it just came out of the fire. That's for sure. It's like a fried jalapeno, but it's a good one. As soon as you said uh, seafood place, Wilson, I was thinking gumbo. Really? Yes, sir. I'm going. So let's see how this is. Oh yeah, it's it. It's good. You gotta win. It's a spot. Nice. Ah, the platter. So I've got shrimp, catfish, hush puppies, okra. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Yep. Did you have any ketchup? Uh, ketchup. I would like all three types of sauce, please. Can't have seafood without cocktail sauce. Okay, so what should I try first? How about the oyster, Alex? I think these scare Alex. This is hot sauce? I don't know. Cocktail sauce. With oyster sauce? Uh, it's cocktail sauce. I think. Oyster's good. Shrimp's got a Cajun batter on it. I like that. Really good. What do you think about the catfish, Alex? 
really good. Last but not least, hush puppy. But hush puppies require a different type of sauce. They gotta have ketchup, in my opinion. Here's the Smokey and the Bandit. You want some? Hush puppy, Daddy. We got no time for that crap. <laughs> Gotta love a hush puppy. We'll see you later. And we're back in Wiley, Texas. I woke up at 4.30. What time did you guys get up? Uh, around 5.30. <laughs> so they can get ready in 20 minutes. It takes me an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's age. So anyway, we had a great day. We accomplished three things that we wanted to accomplish. We dropped the 356 down at the port, mm -hmm. and we got to see what's going on, and we learned two things. The later Volkswagen buses are selling like crazy. Yeah. And I think we kind of knew it, but any kind of truck is selling like crazy to the rest of the world. Right. Went to the machine shop and got the actual original motor for the Shelby. Look at the smile on him. It's right awesome. there. So we're gonna have a numbers matching 67 GT500, which is a big deal. Mm -hmm. And then we went and met Wilson and got a one family owned 63 Sport Coupe Impala, which he thought for some reason, I don't know why, he got it from his uncle, because he opened the trunk, it was red. Yeah. Then he thought it was a red car, color changed to black. It's a factory black red interior Sport Coupe. What a great day. That's cool. Please like, tag, share, and follow. And as always, subscribe to our YouTube channel, please. See you next week.